guys, Zonica. Welcome to my Chanica. So I'm here with Brianna. She's doing a drag. Oh, <laughs> doing a drag makeup look just for fun, not even for her channel, just for fun. Today I'm gonna be doing a highlighter to declutter. Didn't film an intro again because the thing is, like, with my declutter videos, is I always like sit down just to declutter. I don't like make it a video out of it, you know. So I just like turn on the camera and start decluttering. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I made some really good progress, so stay tuned to see that. This is my highlighter drawer. Lol. It's one of the deeper drawers in the Alex 5 set, so you can really stack things on top of each other. This organizer, where is she from? So it's from Sunny Cosmetics. So I think I'm just going to do the same thing that I normally do. I'm going to go out on the floor over there and just lay these all out. Do you think I should sort them by like pinks, golds? I think I'm going to do that. Just so I can see like how many of each I have so that I don't like, because obviously I don't need so many of the same highlighter, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so here are all the piles. We have champagnes right there, funky colors over there, gold colors, and then pink colors. My <laughs> my room is such a mess. I also have some palettes and stuff. I think we're going to start with the golds, because why the fuck not? Hey! Ooh, I think I just, like, pulled a full-on muscle there. My gold! Bro, I have so many highlighters. I don't even know where to start. Which ones do I love? I love this Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. Definitely one of my favorites. You guys know. Love that. Love this Milani one in Day Glow, the strobe light. I got it at Walmart, I think. They're all the fucking same, I swear to God. This Ofra Blissful one, I remember using it once and it was way too dark for me, but it's like basically pristine, so I could definitely sell this on Depop or Poshmark because it's like basically new. Ofra Everglow highlighter. I got, this was sent to me, but it's like broken, like the pan comes out. I've been wanting to purchase just the white shade, the glazed donut highlighter, so I think I'm gonna declutter this one, but I'm gonna replace it with just the glazed donut one because everybody's using that. Ew, that's such a gross note. This ColourPop highlighter in Nomi, it's so glittery, but everybody says that they love it. I just feel like, what am I? It's just like literally so much glitter. I think I'm gonna declutter this one, even though I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's literally basically new. I might sell that one too, I don't really know. It's not really worth my trouble to go out and sell it. This Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. I used to be obsessed with this, but I can't remember if that was during my way too dark highlighter days. I think that would work for me in the summer, but I just, this was really nice once and this helped me at one point in my life. But I think I found other highlighters that, I'm sorry. I will give her to a good home. Make sure she is loved. Becca Champagne Pop was my first high-end makeup product ever. Never, ever getting rid of it. This Kylie highlighter my friend got me for my birthday a while ago. But I'm not really friends with that person anymore. And it's not the best. So I might declutter this one. It's just not as intense as I would like it to be. It's in the shade and a split. It is so aesthetic though. But it's just not good. L Shimmer Highlighting Powder Starlight Glow. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this one as another drugstore option. I love having a bunch of e.l.f. stuff just because I feel like it's such a great brand to promote. I'm gonna keep this J.Cat Beauty Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Dolce Leche. This is like a great dupe for the MAC Soft and Gentle, which... What pile is that even in? Oh, I put it in the Champagne's pile. Whatever. Yeah, they're like the same thing. This one's drugstore and it's much cheaper and it's cruelty free. So, this Ofra Bliss Eyeshadow Highlighter Eyeshadow. It, this is definitely an eyeshadow. I don't know why it's in my highlighting drawer. Actually, no, wait. No, that's that's too dark to be a highlighter. I don't even really use single shadows anyway, so I think I'm gonna clutter this one as well. Essence Pure Nude I'm gonna keep because there are some times where I do like a subtle highlighter. I know you guys are probably shocked, but I think it's always good to have like that backup if you need her. Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. This bitch is so fucking old. Oh my god, she's crusty. Throwing her out. This Makeup Revolution one. It isn't bad. I can really only use the top stripe. Oh wait, but that's kind of pretty. No, I don't need her. It's in the shade Shimmer Brick Radiant. I don't know. Ugh, I feel so glittery. I need a makeup wipe. Guys, this is gonna take for fucking ever. Ugh. Heart Stunner, definitely going to keep. I know she's really janky because I had to repress her, but she's still gorgeous. Precious Petals Wet n Wild. This has always been too dark for me. I want to get one of their more recent shades. I know they're not really new anymore. They're like really old now, but I want to get the newer shade. Gonna declutter that. Guys, I'm making like really good progress. Ugh, this L'Oreal Infallible used to be my ride or die. I forgot that I even had it, but it's not cruelty free. Oh, oh my god, do you see that? Oh my god. 
It's an eyeshadow, but I used it as a highlighter. I, I have to keep that. Just for like stage makeup. I don't know. Sorry. I know it's not cruelty free. I won't use it on camera. It's funny because these are like all the same. I'm literally just like keeping the same kind of gold highlighter over and over again. LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 50 watt. I think this was the one that was too dark for me. I have two. Ooh, that is a really fucking sexy color. Oh yeah, this one's definitely lighter. Oh shit, those are very different. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I feel like there is a slight chance that I might get this tan this summer and I really hope that that slight chance comes to reality. And I have this mini TARDIS stunner liquid highlight thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Why the fuck not, you know? Okay, so in just that section, I kept nine, ten, and I decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're a little bit ahead of ourselves. Okay, we'll even it back out. The pink section. This wet and wild one in I'll have a Cosmo. I don't really remember being absolutely obsessed with. Oh, wait, no, that's so pretty. I have so many like it, though. I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. Again, she was there for me in a time of need. Jeffree Star Princess Cut. I think I have to keep this. Like, I just... <gasps> Oof. Oh, holy fuck. Shit. So white though. I'm gonna keep it. Barflee. No sister. I'm decluttering her. <laughs> oh my god, this JK new glow girl baked highlighter is so bad. I remember I've had this forever, but it's just like so glittery. It gets everywhere. Ooh, this Urban Decay Afterglow highlighter is so unique. It's like pink and it has like a purplish reflect. I kind of like this as a blush, so I should probably put it in my blush drawer. So I'm gonna keep her. Wet and Wild, the sweetest bling. Definitely gonna keep. I love this one. I love the formula of these highlighters. It's just the like colors that I'm really picky about. These two L whipped one. I'm just gonna declutter both of these. I remember how annoying this was and I just don't have time to be nutted on every time I want to do my makeup. Okay, these two elf ones. I like this one in pink tastic. They don't sell it anymore. So I'm gonna have to declutter her and I'm gonna keep this one in rose gold. I'm just gonna declutter the one that they don't have because I can't use it on camera and I don't really use it in real life. So not serving me any purpose. This candle like glow. I actually really like I remember I used to hate this hair, but she's great for just the really like subtle natural glow. This essence one, I'm just gonna declutter it. I, it's like a cream. I don't fuck with that. Gonna declutter these two just because they're not cruelty free and I don't usually fuck with liquid highlighter. I actually do like this wet and wild one though. It is cruelty free. It's really like nice and natural. I think you can use it like underneath your foundation just to really brighten up anything. And you can also use it over top. Pixie and Aspen over at Santorini Sunset. Definitely gonna keep even though it was limited edition one of my favorite highlighters ever. I need to start using her again. Laura Geller Peach Glow. I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like I'm just not going to use it because of the formula, but at the same time, it's like a really pretty natural. No, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This is such an OG. That's so white. Oh my god, I can't even believe I wore that. This is in the shade Peach Lights. It's just not really a great color, but the formula is really nice. But I'm going to declutter it. Maybe get a different shade. Pixie by Petra. I got this in that Ipsy thing. I'm not going to use it, and I can't use it in videos because it was like an ipsy thing. Oh, wait, that's really pretty. I'll keep that. I'll try it as a blush, and maybe you will see it in my blush and bronzer to clutter, which I will film on a different day so I can try this out. Oh, that was a bunch from the pink section, and now I have some random highlighting palette. Oh, oh my god, this is the Sleek Solstice. This was really like, oh my god, that was my life at one point. But I think I have so many other better options. Not that this is bad, it's just things that I would reach for over this, so I think I'm going to declutter that. And same with this NYX Strobe of Genius. I barely even touched this. And I never use it. So, hasta la vista, Nicole Guerrero. Yeah, I, this is like pretty new as well, so I might try and sell that. And then I'm definitely gonna keep my sun dipped glow kit. This is so freaking pretty. And same with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Volume 2. I love this. I specifically love the shade Spotlight Daylight. Love that. Okay, now we are going to move on to our crazy color. Also, I feel like I'm not even gonna keep like any of these. These are so gross. Really don't like feet. All right, Becca Prismatic Amethyst. Oh, it really hurts me to get rid of Becca. I don't know, it's just such a weird color. Actually, no, I want to keep it. It's actually a really pretty color. I need it. Keeping this, actually, am I? No, no. This is like what I want the Laura Geller one to be, but what the Laura Geller one isn't. I'm keeping it. It's in the shade Goddess of Love, Makeup Revolution. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep my Moon Child. Get rid of my Unicorn Glow, I think. Actually, wait. Keeping both of them. I'm literally never gonna use either of them, but they're this shade and this one is so worth it. And this shade and this one is so worth it.
This one I love, and that was limited edition, the Tarte Make Believe oh, Spellbound Glow, but if it is limited edition. Okay, it's really similar to Jeffree Star Princess Cut, so I think I'm going to declutter it. I can't believe I'm doing that. Bobby Brown, ew. This isn't even a highlighter set. I remember getting this at Nordstrom Rack, like a highlighter and then a blush. No. Declutter. This Luna by Luna highlighter. Adios. <laughs> this I got in a dumpster. Adios. Makeup Geek Lit. I'm gonna keep this just because Makeup Geek. Last category is Champagne. Can't believe we're almost at the end, guys. Oh, I'm so tired. Aspen Ovard Pixie London Luster. Nah. I don't really love this one. It's not as pigmented as the Santorini Sunset one. This Wet n Wild Stick. Don't love. Cover FX Mini. I'm gonna keep. This Elf, like, Dewy, highly sick, hate it. No. Hasta la vista. Very luminizer. I'm gonna keep this Milani one. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm keeping it. Mac, soft and gentle. This is where it all is getting real. I'll declutter it. I'll, I guess I'll just. I'll, I'm doing it. This other Mac one I have is limited edition double gleam. I'm gonna declutter that. The LA girl one that we were talking about earlier. I think I'm gonna keep that one. It's in the shade 100 watt. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> declutter this. Declutter this and keep this even though I have no idea what it is. I don't know how it got in my house It's this thing by Ulta Beauty, um, but I like it yeah. <sighs> We did it. We fucking did it. Oh my gosh So here's the pile of the shit that I'm keeping here is the pile of the shit that I am decluttering I guess I'm gonna count but I'm gonna film me organizing these into a section yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this highlighter declutter. Next, I'm going to be doing my blushes and bronzers, which I'm really excited about as well. But I'm really happy because now when I look into my highlighter drawer, I'm not like overwhelmed with all the options. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm going to get more use out of my highlighters, you know, because I'm not so scared to go into my highlighter drawer now. I did actually leave out a few that were in my everyday makeup drawer, but I'm just going to keep those, obviously, because they were in my everyday makeup drawer. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on decluttering I will wish you the best but you already had